Our team coverage continues tonight with Sally Mamdu. She joins us live in Pasadena with the very latest developments. And Sally, we understand that Deer Park and LaPorte schools are set to reopen tomorrow morning. Yes, and it could be based off that report that was released to us for the first time we're looking at that report. But take a look behind me here. It's a tough sight to miss. The huge plume of smoke coming out of these tanks. Many are still concerned this fire is putting their health at risk. ITC officials released air quality monitoring report to the public, telling the public they're not at risk. It's day two and Intercontinental Terminals Company's six tanks are still burning. ITC officials initially reported seven tanks were on fire, but in a recent press conference announced the seventh had fire around it. They say so far they're making progress in putting out the fire as fire crews continue to use foam and water to fight the massive fire that has sent plumes of smoke that can be spotted as far west as Katy. We have made um, some headway. Um, and that three of our tanks are still on fire, and three are in intermittent fires, so they flare up and then they go down. So we're making strong headway with the fire and um, believe that uh, they are taking a, an approach that can be a little bit more um, where they can put more foam and a foam bl a blanket on top. ITC officials released an environmental report on the air quality issued by the Center for Toxicology and Environmental Health, a private firm, and it did not offer the most current data. According to the air quality, all detections recorded by CTAH were below levels that would represent a health concern. ITC officials say they're doing what they can to pump out toxic chemicals like naphtha out. So far, they've been able to pump out roughly 10,000 barrels of naphtha safely out of one tank. The rest are still considered too dangerous to pump. The Texas Commission of Environmental Quality released an initial report on the incident showcasing a leak behind the massive tank fires, showing that three million pounds of gasoline components had gone into the air and that there was a leak in one of the tanks. ITC officials say they're still reviewing the cause of the fire and couldn't confirm the report to us. Corey Williams with Air Alliance Houston says ITC needs to be held liable. We want to see some sort of uh, uh, disincentive uh, for these these. Uh, unsafe practices and and you know that lead to these catastrophes we want to see a disincentive uh, that is felt by the company we want fines uh, and we want you know better practices ITC officials tell us they expect the fire to burn for the next two days they're also expected to give us another update on this fire on the status of this fire tomorrow morning we are live in Deer Park Sally Mamdu KPRC Channel 2 News